You know who went on a pardon and commuting spree, granting clemency <laughs> to 11 people, including some disgraced former Illinois... <coughs> Ooh, pardon me. <coughs> <coughs> I know. Easy, girl. Uh, yeah, I got so excited. Uh, former <laughs> Illinois Governor Rod Blagojevich, whose hair Joy pulled. I did. Uh, yes, she did. did I really? Yes, you did. You were checking to see if it was real, and so you pulled it on. I did that to Trump, too. Yes, you did. <laughs> and now, together, they're, you know, pardoning each other. Ex-NYPD yeah. ex, uh, Commissioner Bernie Carrick and financier Michael Milken. And here's what he had to say about all of it. We have commuted the sentence of Rod Blagojevich. He served eight years in jail. It's a long time, and uh, I watched his wife on television. Uh, I don't know him very well. I met him a couple of times. He was on for a short while of The Apprentice years ago. We have uh, Bertie Carrick. We have Mike Milken, who's gone around and done an incredible job for the world. Oh, so... <laughs> <laughs> I can attest to one. I don't know about the other two. But he's like Oprah now. When you get a pardon, and you get a pardon, and you get a pardon. But what do you what do you think motivated this? Because if if it was really about finding folks to pardon, I mean, we could have suggested the gentleman that was with us yesterday. Exactly. That's somebody who said, could have I benefited from that. I the same from thing. Yeah. So, but I, I wonder what this... sent up during the Rockefeller laws, the drug laws for marijuana possession. They're right. still in jail, some mm -hmm, of them. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Well, Obama did a lot of that, right? He, he pardoned a lot of low-level low level. Uh, drug convictions. You know, what, what, what bothers me uh, about this is that there generally is a process in place. I mean, there really is an office that, that handles this at the Justice Department, mm -hmm. and there are many layers uh, of, of review that, mm -hmm. that happens. It appears to me that Trump didn't go through that protocol. Um, no surprise there, actually, Why right? Should he? Are we sure that he didn't, or, or you yeah, think he we, did? Yeah, we are certain that he okay. didn't. And uh, justice, although we all know sometimes it, it isn't uh, blind, it is supposed to be, and it especially it's supposed to be when it comes to the pardon process. Mm -hmm. And what is really disconcerting is that it appears that, you know, celebrity and uh, people who donate status, to his campaign, people that have donated yeah. to his campaign, got a leg up, <clears throat> and that is not how this process is supposed to work. Yeah. In Trump's it's world, a bad criminals go for... free and children get locked up in cages. Just Good. let that sink in. Yeah. Sit. Uh, it's a bad trend with presidents. Um, Bill Clinton uh, pardoned 450 people on his way out, including his a man brother. named uh, yeah. Mark Rich, who was yeah. a fugitive who fled the country because of tax fraud. Mm -hmm. And he happened to be married to a huge Democratic donor. It was a huge scandal when it happened mm -hmm. at the time. Yeah. So it's not new, and but I think when you're... Too, I and think. his half-brother, too, And his half-brother. There's a whole... Yeah. You can just yeah. Google it. There's so a whole list yeah. of things Are you saying Trump's on his way out? Because they were all on their way out. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no. <laughs> clear yesterday that I think he's getting reelected at this moment, but this neither here nor there. Um, I, I don't like this trend. I actually think there should be a higher standard for pardoning. Mm -hmm. Rob Lagojevich, among other things, he stopped funding for a children's hospital. Mm -hmm. And I yeah. think if you're messing around with sick children in a hospital and mm. funding for the Children's Memorial Hospital in Chicago. Um, he actually held up an $8 million fundraising increase. That, to me, is like yeah. the lowest of the low mm -hmm. of the low. Mm -hmm. And if your whole messaging is drain the swamp, drain the swamp. I'm against swamp creatures. Rob Blagojevich is like the swampiest swamp creature in the world. Yeah. I mean, he's basically a crocodile, so I don't understand why you would be pardoning mm -hmm. a man who had... Mm -hmm. It just goes against... If, Screw like you know what's ethically right. It well, goes against his political message. Well, he said he saw his wife on Fox mm -hmm. News, and yeah. that he was. You know, but do you on think the he's just trying to normalize criminal white cr white collar criminal behavior? Absolutely. So that as he goes forward, forward everybody becomes <laughs> inured to all the criminal behavior coming out of him. Well, and so, oh, look like we're getting now. I think to he feels things. emboldened after mm -hmm. the that impeachment too. hearings, mm -hmm. and I think yeah. he feels like he's tough lawn. And he had he said in that clip he was on The Apprentice, and there does seem to be this like weird standard for people who have been on The Apprentice, yeah. which I also think is very strange. But I, I don't think it's... this ultimately matters in the election. Sadly, was Bernie but I do think there the should be a better standard. Um, yeah, yeah. I think there should be a different standard, though. I do think all Americans can come together. I do think the pardoning process is somewhat outdated, and we maybe should pass some laws that there should be a higher standard. Standard 
for whom and like what laws you or what laws you've broken in right. what way. Yeah. Or at the very um, least, you have yeah. to follow the process that's in place. I mean, because it's you you go to the uh, the Justice Department vets the potential pardons, and it's a very rigorous protocol because I've had friends that have worked within that that um, that uh, office, and then after that, it goes through other sets of standards. And just to be able to bypass that protocol right. that's been put in place, I just you know what. Isn't that what Mitch McConnell's that. been doing? Mitch McConnell just jumps over all the laws and does what he wants. It's like it's yeah. two criminals. Well, you know, it's it, it'll be interesting to see how this all plays out because it, I feel like it's it's a prelude to all the new pardons that we are. Mm -hmm. We talked about it at the beginning of the year. I that just might don't be like possible. it. I don't like, like a president having the ability to pardon. Yeah. I just don't like the precedent it sets. A president is not a judge. And again, we talked yeah. about Bill Clinton mm -hmm. and all these. Mm -hmm. There seems to be personal ties to a lot of yeah. it. I, I just don't like it. it should, yeah. 